Congressman Ro Khanna is with us for the hour, taking your calls. Cindy in Indianapolis, Indiana, you're on the air with Representative Khanna. Uh, yes, I'm just wondering why President Biden is not pushing back harder on the Republicans for these issues. He seems to be soft, and I voted for him. I, I want him to, I know sometimes the Democrat maybe have to go alone to get things done because the Republican is not going to stand for it until he do something about it. Cindy, I, I agree with you. I I think it would be a total uh, capitulation of the moment to agree to what the Republicans are putting forward. It's not bold. It has almost nothing on climate. It has nothing on uh, many of the key provisions on child care or elder care. Uh, it is uh, not raising revenue where, where it wants to. And the biggest kicker here is the Democrats should not be in favor of keeping the Trump tax, Trump tax cuts. We spend, have spent the last four years saying how unjust the Trump tax cuts are. You would think that the first thing we'd want to do is get rid of those unjust Trump, Trump tax cuts and not compromise in saying, well, let's just have those be permanent. Uh, Congressman, we just have uh, 40 seconds. There, there's a theory that the strategy that the Biden administration is playing out is uh, build, the, build their popularity with what they've done so far and, and get it to the point where, you know, the, the public pressure will be overwhelming and the Republicans will have to capitulate. Many people think that's naive. Uh, I'm not even sure that's their strategy. Your thoughts on all that? Well, look, I think the president's popularity is pretty good. It's in the low 50s, and I don't know if you can get higher than that in the modern context where you have right. about 40 percent of the country believing that he isn't legitimately elected. So I, I think he has the political capital. Now is the time to govern. Yeah, there you go. Now is the time to use it.